Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jacob Fisher and today we're reviewing a bank which I don't think many people have heard of because I barely even heard of them after only seeing a influencer post something about them on Instagram. They plan a climate fighting tree for every dollar that you spend by rounding up your purchases to the nearest dollar and using that change to fund things. They also don't lend out their money to oil companies or anything that could be harmful to the environment, but rather choose in, you know, socially or environmentally friendly companies to lend their money out to, which I think is a good thing of a bank to do. I, you know, that's great. Climate change is getting bigger and bigger and more aggressive. So it's good to have a bank that kind of back, backs the climate changing industry. Let's just get into why open an account with them and the goods and the bads and the awfuls about this bank. But first, make sure you tap that like button and then let's get into it. First, I wanna go over the basics so we can fully understand this bank and their strive towards fighting climate change. If you've heard of a company called Acorns where they invest your spare change by rounding up the nearest dollar, this is very similar because if you use the Aspiration debit card, they'll round up your purchases to the nearest dollar and use that change to go towards a fight to plant a tree. Not a fight to plant a tree, but they'll use it to plant a tree, which I think is kind of neat. You aren't getting that money back though, so it's kind of like a donation, which kind of makes me not necessarily want to use it because I don't want to be donating all of my spare change. Though, I, at the end of the day, if you got spare change in like your change or you probably would donate it or do something with it or just let it sit there and do nothing. Acorns provides a solution to that to invest while Aspiration lets you plant a tree. There are two accounts taken up with them. Well, three, I guess, if you include the credit account that you can join a wait list for. But on the debit or bank account, you can actually get 5% cash back at these places on the screen right now. It's certainly not places that I would personally frequent all too much, even though I've bought things from some of these companies in the first place. They partner with Imperfect Foods, which is actually a kind of neat place. Essentially, Imperfect Foods just takes imperfect foods that they wouldn't sell at like a Safeway or Whole Foods and they sell it at an imperfect foods for cheaper, which kind of makes sense. I mean, the food might look deformed, but it still is the same as if you bought it at Whole Foods. It just looks different. That's not that's not a bad thing at all, right? You get three to 5% back on these companies with those debit cards. And honestly, if there was an imperfect foods near me, I'd probably try to go shop there more and use the card because I can get 5% back, which is kind of nice, except that I have the gold card, which gives me four points, which seem me transferred out anyway. Just to sum up the rest of the features, they have 55,000 fee-free ATMs around the world. You can choose to pay what you want with the base account, so you can pay them $0 in fees, and they don't charge things like a, you need a recurring deposit in there. You could put $200 in there and let it sit, and it would just sit there. You can get paid up to two days early as the final Thing. Now, when you open an account with them, they ask you how much you want to pay. And honestly, I would not pay a bank a single dollar because I don't think I'd need to pay a bank money to hold my money for me. In fact, they lend it out. So why would I need to pay them? They already make money off of it. Those fees are dumb. Aspiration lets you choose how much you would pay and you can pay them a bunch of money a month or you can pay them zero dollars, which is what I chose with their base account. Now with the plus account, you do get some other things, but you have to pay a certain dollar per month, which is, I guess, kind of okay. Either way, I didn't want to pay a fee, so I set it to zero and that was it. Moving into the Aspiration Plus account, it costs $7.99 a month or $71.88 if paid yearly, which is kind of like a weird price to have to pay yearly, consider it like, like a credit card fee, yearly fee. It gives you a couple other things. You can get 10% back on their Conscious Coalition purchases, which were those vendors that I showed on the screen earlier that would be up again, which would be great if I frequented it some of their members of the coalition. But me personally, I just don't consider that too much weight or I don't give that too much weight because I just don't shop there. You do get, this is the good one, 1% 1 APY on your savings with some incredibly large caveats. Now this 1% beats out everything. It'll change when other savings accounts change because right now Amex is at like 0.4% and this can go up to 1%. The first thing that you need to have is the Aspiration Plus account, which costs 
you know, the $71 a year, and you only get 1% on the first $10,000 in the account. Sure, you get $100 at the end of it, but if you use that to cover the fee, you really only get $30 back, even less, while in a traditional savings account, you can get $40 back at the end of the year, which is better. The save account, though, is not restricted to typical savings account withdrawal restrictions where you can only do it six times in a month. You can withdraw and deposit as much as you feel the need to. So technically, I guess it's not a savings account. But the more important requirement that I think is that you need to spend $1,000 a month on your aspiration debit card, or I would assume credit card at some point, each month to earn that 1%. That Honestly, to me, that just makes it not worth it because I'm not gonna use the aspiration debit card. I don't think it's worth it to use that to, maybe at some places, but I'm not spending $1,000 at Tom's footwear. I hope you aren't also. Anyways, you also get one out of ATM network reimbursement fee monthly, which is kinda nice. So if you need to get money out of an ATM and it's gonna charge you a fee, it's okay because you'll get one monthly back out of that. And you also get carbon offsets for all of your gas purchases with Planet Protection. That's just fun. They do also offer investing through Redwood funds or Redwood IRA, depending on what you want, either an IRA or a fund, it's all entirely up to you. And if you're curious about what the holdings are, and I was as well, so I looked into it, then you can see them on the screen right now. One of their top holdings is Visa, which I thought was a little funny because they are a MasterCard company. They put all their transactions through MasterCard, so why not? And they made this fund their, themselves, so why even why do that? Speaking of their credit card, it reminds me a lot of the Robinhood debit card. They are super similar, except not necessarily. They're just both vertical on the back. I'm not going to show you the back because the numbers are in there, but they're just vertical cards, which... I think it's kind of cool. New companies or just companies should get more vertical cards out there. That's just a personal preference. What makes them special though? And why did I open with a bank account with them? Because it doesn't sound like they're all too special except for the fact that you can pay $0 and not have to set up a direct deposit. Honestly though, I only did it because of their commitment to the planet. They have a solid backing. I mean, that's great reason and they're part of the one percent for the planet companies which if you don't know is a non-profit organization that people will donate one percent of their sales to non-profits to help clean up the world it's essentially patagonia rei companies like that gooder i might be one of them as well or they just donate one percent of their sales to one percent for the planet which is then gets spread out to other companies trying to save the planet or help clean up the planet, I should say. If you've watched any of Sir David Attenborough's Planet Earth, Our Planet, Blue Planet series, then that kind of should make you want to do something for the planet, at least in a little bit, whether it be a bank account or trying to get fishing nets out of the sea, like in Seaspiracy? No, Conspiracy? No, whatever it is. <laughs> so while aspiration doesn't necessarily provide anything incredibly exceptional except for the occasional 5% back or the fact that I can pay nothing for the bank and still not have a direct deposit fee, which is actually a pretty good reason to open the bank in the first place because I know Chase requires you to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be charged a monthly fee. I would just go for the bank because of what they do and what they say they do. They're not going to give your money away to oil companies trying to drill or set up more oil. They might give it to solar companies or wind power companies out there trying to grow or even just organizations trying to clean up natural areas, which is nice to have. I'm definitely not gonna use their debit code though because it just doesn't make sense to use it when I have so many other cards providing you better rewards and better things. And because I make videos on credit cards, I'm just not gonna use a card that just because they round up my change to plant a tree. It's just not necessarily worth it when I can use my cards to earn more and more cash back that honestly I could go and plant a tree myself as well, which is something to consider. But if you want, you can use my link down below to sign up with the company and get $30 back after spending a little bit of money on their card, which is just kind of worth it. You just got to use it for, it's, it's essentially just a welcome bonus, which is kind of nice. 
I upload videos on Monday and Friday on travel and finance. If that sounds something interesting to you, hit that little subscribe button down there. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.